Hi, Aquarius. It's L here to do a quick reading for you. So it's going to be about love, all right? And um, maybe past person, new person, but probably past. So, All right, so let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So I asked, what does the person want to tell you? You have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands coming out. Their name, your name could start with these letters or these letters could be significant. A, T, C, K, W, R, E. First, last name, whatever. This could have been a, a karmic situation. This person misses the fun, the activity, the sex, you know, maybe the, you're funny, you're sexy, and you're magical. You make things happen you're seductive attractive you know there's like a mysterious mystique nature about you like you're sultry or if you're a man you're very strong you're tall you're you're dark you're handsome you have a nice home or it's home with you um there's luck associated with you you're kind of spontaneous um you've got a big ego you know, bravado, maybe a self-starter, you're self-employed, um, you dress well, you look good, you smell good, you're charming. Somebody also likes your caring nature, Aquarius. So they, they, you know, they like that with you, it's stable. You, they also view you as beautiful, like you're traditional, traditionally beautiful, you know, like, Maybe even a natural beauty. They like your loyalty. They like that you have like a layered personality. Man or woman. You know, male or female Aquarius. Like, they don't know what to get with you. You're creative. You always come up with something new. Um, they like how you give good advice, but you're not attached to the outcome. So if people take it, they take it. They don't. You don't get worked up about it. They like that you're reflective, you're caring, and you're considerate. Okay, what's going on between Aquarius and this person right now? So somebody's trying to get more money so they don't have a lot of time. That could be you, Aquarius. It could be the other person. This came out. So somebody say that uh, the other person needs to grow up, you know, way too old for this. All right, let's see. So this might be an energy of someone knowing that, you know, you deserve more Aquarius. Oh, uh, look, I look down and look what came out. You deserve so much more than I'm giving. I'm sorry. So someone knows that you deserve more and maybe they're trying to get that for you, you know, um, they know that you, you know, you, they've got to get more money, more opportunity. And then there's someone here and it could be the same person. Somebody here that's trying to take the time to grow up. They know that you deserve more from them, not just money, but you deserve respect. You deserve, um, to be valued, you know, uh, you deserve devotion, monogamy, if that's what you guys are into. You deserve all of that. They're trying to get something. They're trying to maybe even grow. They're going on some spiritual journey. They just don't have time maybe to play or play with other people, play with you. Play. They don't have time. They're really trying to get something accomplished. They understand something you have com uh, you have complete control in this situation so someone wants you to know that you've got you've got the upper hand this is what your person wants you to know you do have the upper hand here you know maybe because you showed up in a different capacity like mature uh, you don't want to argue okay wow yeah chaser so maybe they, they're, they're willing to chase you now Maybe you used to be the chaser. You used to always be pulling them back or running after them. 
And now you are, some of you got a new car coming. Um, now you're the chaser. Now they're the chaser. They're chasing you. Aquarius, some of you were like giving too much. Now it came out reverse, so maybe you stopped giving as much. Maybe that's why they're willing to chase you. They, I told you that this is what they're thinking about the sex. You know, all day, all day, all they do is think about sex with you. Whoa, this person could even be addicted to sex with anyone, you know. Maybe this is how they show. This might be somebody who doesn't have much to offer, okay? Maybe that's where they're like, I know you deserve more. Sorry, you know? Um, This is all they have to offer is, you know, the physical. They don't have much going for themselves. This is how they show appreciation, value, gratitude. I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, maybe they. this is how they show you that they're grateful for knowing you, grateful that you would even be in their life, especially if they don't have much else to offer. This might be a completely insecure person. Even if they have money and they have car, they have this, they have that, they might be extremely insecure. You know, if you really knew the, knew the real them, maybe they feel like you wouldn't like them. Or if they didn't have the car or the money, you wouldn't like them. So they, they're all, always overcompensating, overperforming. May even be at this time, like maybe even addicted to sex. It's, it's, a, it's their go-to. This might be somebody in like a lower vibration. Yeah. Okay. So zero discipline in every aspect of your life. So this is somebody whose heart chakra is not in alignment. Their desires. And it's funny because this person came out as you know the wands and King of Wands talks about the heart's desire. So maybe their heart's desire is a little bit perverse. You know the word says the heart is perverse and you know all its ways. So um, they need to have a heart heart change or. <laughs> did not come out right they need to do some heart chakra work they also need to uh, so this would be like um, transforming uh, their perspective their philosophy about life in general because this talks about they got zero control zero discipline in every aspect of life so they just go over and over and over maybe even an addictive personality Somebody who just can't stop. Just can't stop. Someone could be like full of fear and drama. Root chakra. So they kind of, they love from a place of fear. They're always fearing that, fearing the worst or fearing that someone's really going to see who they really are. Fear that, you know, they're going to lose or lose out or that they've got to win or they look at things in a very perverse way. You know manner uh, they create a lot of drama this could be a person that flourishes in the you know in the face of drama that they can thrive in drama we have six positive signs six negative signs um not to say that the negative signs are negative people but they can be put in those environments and they will still thrive they may even go to the top but it'll be the adverse if you put them in a positive environment. They might even have to try to create some drama so that they can thrive off of it, right? And it's the adverse for you put the positive sign, you know, in the negative. You know, um, they'll just kind of dwindle, you know. They'll just kind of fall apart. And they'll be trying to create all this positivity. And they'll be ferociously met with drama and um negativity so um this is a person who's just dramatic you know this is they get a kick out of it this might even be like an energy vampire somebody who feeds off of negativity and fear they love to see a person like um 
squabble at the bottom or suffer uh, maybe just to pull them out maybe this could even be like somebody who likes to wants to be somebody's savior or ha like to have something over the other person this could even be a person who is what you don't know very depressed some really depressive thoughts like they're very they're not positive this is not a positive person deep down inside what they want to say to you is you should probably run away from me they know that there's no positive bone not right now in their body uh, and maybe this is why they keep you around Aquarius and this could be all the reverse for the cross watcher you know you could be that the other way it could be the other way around right so um Someone knows that they're just not good to be around right now. Yeah, somebody is just, they fight the feelings that they have for you. They don't, they don't want to let love in because the, you yeah, got two cards of the heart chakra. It's just all heavy and convoluted and maybe they hadn't dealt with, you know, past heartbreak, heartache. And maybe they didn't get what they wanted in life and therefore their heart is cold, callous, heavy, dark. They don't want to let love in because love hurts, love stinks, love, love sucks, you know, all of those things. They fight their feelings. This is somebody who wants to be like an eternal bachelor, bachelorette. They want to just want to float around. This is in the reverse. I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm going to make it up to you in reverse. Maybe they're not. Yeah, ghost at you, but I'll be right back. So they may not make it up to you, but they'll definitely be back. Yeah, so someone wonders if this person loves you or love if they love you. Yeah, they love you or you love them, but the love is toxic. So it's unhealthy because, again, there's some needs to be healed with somebody's heart chakra or, or both of you. You know, you've got your own issue. They've got theirs, right? Somebody's love is just toxic. It's just unhealthy. Um, they, they can't love in the right capacity. First of all, if you're dealing with somebody who doesn't know God, then they can never love you. God is love. And if you don't know God, you can't love anybody else. So go find God, whatever you want that to be for yourself, but go find God and then you can talk about loving someone or someone loving you. I don't have respect for women, so maybe, you know, especially them being like a sex addict almost. Um, maybe they're in some type of environment, work environment, environment in terms of community where they just don't respect women. They never have. Could be misogyny. Could even be, this could be re like repressed, depressive thoughts of maybe them wanting to um, have same-sex connection, relationship. Um, they don't do it out of fear of because they did have fear so they're trying to stick with women uh, if this is a man even though they really want to be with same sex and they don't have respect for women somebody wakes up with you on their mind yeah the sex magic is what I perform on you so somebody knows very well what they're doing in the bedroom Somebody wakes up with you on their mind or you wake up with them on your mind. This is what you got from this person. Unfair treatment. Unjust. It just was uncalled for. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, I can't even think of the word. Anyway, um, it, it just wasn't. A, it just wasn't applicable. Like, why would you do that? And at times, this person's behavior mystifies you. It's like, well, you said that we're together and you love me and then you go and do this? Like, I just don't understand you. Uh, your love disrupted somebody's loveless life. Um, yeah, somebody really wants zero attachments. But it seems as if they kind of got attached to you. Somebody doesn't take care of themselves or they're kind of down and out or they don't have money or whatever 
and some now somebody is acting differently towards them or they're losing or they're, they've lost something. Somebody is completely aware of the shit that they've done. They're asking for forgiveness. We've got a new job coming. Very nice. 444 four, four on the clock. So protection. Somebody ran away from the connection because it was everything that they prayed for. They were scared. Someone is asking you to please don't leave them. Um, you're the only person that puts up with them. Okay. Now, they, they might be verbalizing this to you or they may be acting out like a child would, you know. But this is what the acting out is really saying. I would still leave. It is up to you to stay. Um, yeah, I can't make it up. I can't express myself to you in words, so I hope you figure it out in my actions, through my actions. <laughs> make this shit up. Um, extremely childish, immature behavior. Can't vocalize, can't verbalize how they really feel. So they they, they put on, they throw temper tantrums. Uh, they want to argue as long as they can keep you arguing and keep you talking. Then they feel like, okay, I've got an opportunity. Even though I really want to express this, that, um, hey, don't leave me. We'll get a few last things for this person. Somebody's cleanliness is not up to par. Like somebody's like, I'm, you don't take care of yourself. You ain't got money and you're dirty. I don't know. Somebody's saying I'm no longer digmatized. Like you can't or, you know, uh, hooked on the P, whatever. You can't keep me with that. I'm, I, I'm okay. Thank you, but no thank you. And there is someone going crazy without you. Oh, you know what I just got? Whoa. So somebody is saying I, I no longer like, you know, pain. I no longer want that. And this could be like a man. He could be saying this to a woman. Like he's no longer into, you know, um, same sex relationship. Instant manifestation. 11 and 11 coming for you, Aquarius. Whatever you think about instantly comes to life. Yeah, somebody was, you were giving 100% of of you to them and they were giving you 10%. So it was just like completely offset. Somebody feels like this is a match made in heaven. But they want you when they want you. So somebody's keeping you at bay. And the cards want you to know to believe in you. Solar plexus, so you might need to get your confidence up. Okay, do some solar plexus healing. Someone is saying, look, I'm about to text you or call you. Okay. What should Aquarius know moving forward? Like, I don't know about this person. They got a lot of deep healing to do. Yeah, deep healing. Um, open to a conversation, close to actually giving a fuck and doing anything. Okay. Um... Yeah, Knight of Swords, because this person's, yeah, oh, whew. this person is almost like obsessed, possessed with getting you back. Knight of Swords in the eyes coming out. They could be spying on you. Um, if they get the chance to talk to you, they're going to try to persuade you into believing the narrative that they want to sell you. Um, the Knight of Swords is very good with words, very persuasive. Um, change. You might even get a job offer, change of occupation. Um this person may even try to use intellect and, you know, to get you to change your mind. They're very determined. They got like tunnel vision on you with eyes coming out. So they like focus on bringing you back in, into the fold, back into the relationship. The Knight of Swords says this is somebody who's apprehensive about commitment, making the commitment. But they're also understanding that they're losing the person. They're losing their love interest. So they know that they'd have to do something big to draw them back in. Okay. They've got Maybe they got eyes on you. Maybe they miss looking into your eyes. Something about your eyes here. Um, they're watching you. Or they know that you're watching them. I don't know. Somebody's watching. Okay. Purple. So um, you be coming into, you know, spirituality, divinity, understanding yourself and other people. 
um, higher level of consciousness to the point where you, you only want something that's made for you, that came from divinity, from the divine. You don't want these uh, one-nighters. You don't want people that you went and found down at the bar, down at the club, down at the grocery store. You don't want it. You want somebody that's coming into your life for a reason and purpose. Okay. All right. Let's see what else is. Okay. And we'll leave it there. All right. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. Um, so dude's got somebody from the past trying to come back. You might even have a new person. This is somebody from the past. What do they want? Yeah, this is like a past person. What do they want? What does this six of pencils? Cause sorry, right, so they, seven of cups. All right, so um, so so we get two knights showing up: knight of swords, knight of wands. So it's like um, this person is definitely trying to recover, change your mind, charm you, um, come in attractive, disarm with a smile, trying to get you to change your mind. And they're coming in as a knight. Knights are governed by the hierophant. Um, Hierophant talks about that inner voice. Everybody's inner voice is not coming from God, divinity, spirituality, white light. Some people hearing from the other side, okay? So you don't know why this person is coming back to you, but they're also coming back to you really quickly. They're coming back to you as nice. So it's like they're trying to accomplish something with you, then, you know, maybe move on. I don't know, get you stuck on them again with the Six of Pentacles showing up. Maybe reverse the power dynamic because they told you that you had the power you had complete control and now they want the power back where you used to chase them you used to worry about them you used to give to them this is the give the bad this could sometimes be the good and the bad of give and take they know that you're real they may even be coming in with a diamond necklace ring i don't know I gotta clarify that. But then you have barge. So they may be just trying to like forcefully, roughly like barge into back into your life. And it seems that way with these two knights here. You show up as you come as queen again, queen of cups, and you came out as queen of wands or the king of wands. Where whichever one you want to be, you're in the king or queenly energy. Like so this person is coming out as knights. And they're trying to barge back in. Because they fantasize, they feel like they're losing control. Upright, the Seven of Cups talks about loss of control. And now they're in fantasy, prostrating themselves out across the floor, rolling in the floor, because they're absolutely losing you. They thought they had a hold on you. They want you to stay stuck in this toxic, negative vibration, relationship. They want to exert their will over you, barge, right? They want you to want what they want. If they want a friends with benefits, then they're going to try to come back and light of swords, persuade you that that's the best option for you. I mean, we're only getting older. I mean, what if I would? Okay, I would marry you right now. But, you know, uh, but, you know, if you if look, you have to just calm down and you have to let things just be and just give it some time and just understand where I'm coming from. And if you would do that, you see you, what you're trying to do is control the situation. Now, what they're trying to do is get you to accept uh, what they want from you, exert their will over you, whether it's talking fast, um, or just like, you know, being real forceful, you know, um, this may even be talking over you. The timing is off for this page of pentacles reconciliation because this person still has people that they're dealing with and they know they need to make a choice but they still want you to be one of uh, the choices so they're trying to recover you like um a horse out of a stable like i'm gonna get that you've got other horses in the stable but let me go get that other horse that's my prize horse yeah they feel like you're the one that's getting away i can't make this shit up the three of cups yeah you're the empress you know, you, you, you're the prize one. And they know they might even need to apologize to you and make something right with you. But they're extremely infatuated with you. And they want you back in that chaotic place. Because, you know, when you're chaotic and you're 
confused. You're easily controlled. And they want you back. You chase me. I don't chase you. Especially if they're showing up as the king of wands or the queen of wands. These are people with very strong ego. There's somebody saying I sacrificed that lifestyle or I let it go. I let it just kind of dissipate and go away. And now I want to have reunion with you. I want to come back to you. Yeah. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. I can't make this shit up. I don't know. They might be. Who are they coming? Why are they? The universe could be trying to bring you two back together. What is this guidance? Five of Cups. Out of misery, hurt, loss, pain. Don't want to feel the pain and the missing you anymore. Somebody just doesn't want to feel it. They don't want to go through the emotions of, you know, loss and having not can't. They want to recover the relationship. It means something to them also. Um, what does it mean? Yeah, King of Wands, quick King of Swords. This is. Honey, good luck with this right here. This is a man. This is maybe two people, but this is a man. They want it their way. Point blank period. And they covert narcissists. They could be very handsome. Handsome. They want things their way. They're not willing to change. They will try to convince you. They will try to manipulate you. They will give you what you want or what you think you want. They will withdraw and then make you chase them. Ooh. Be cautious. I'm trying to change the dynamic here. Or like the will of fortune, like um, change the destiny, the fate of this relationship. If you're asking about this person, like if the, are they a soulmate? Yeah, they could be a karmic one. Wow, I can't make it up. What the lovers is it? Yeah, could be a karmic one. It could be, it could have been very positive. This could be same sex relationship, too. No one's conceding, no one's folding here. Like, good luck. Um, you think you're hot shit? Well, so do I. You think you're smarter? <laughs> well, so do I. You think you're petty? I'll match your petty. Um, you could feel this person maybe when you're not even around them you could feel their energy you have a strong connection to them especially if it's a man with a woman you can feel this yeah Like they're projecting out from their heart, from their very perverted heart. I don't know. From their heart and um, they're trying to get you to come back. They're trying to definitely recover, getting control. The chariot talks about control, recovery, short-term goal, victor, winner. This person just really doesn't want you to leave their life. Point blank period. They have found no one like you. I think they might even compare everybody to you. They're comparing everybody to Aquarius. Five of Wands. Yep. Competition. Comparison. Opposition. They're comparing everybody to you. What is Page of Wands? They want to make up. You have a like a whirlwind romance make up with you, but there's nothing ground in this energy, so it could they could be come in and be out, yep. Yeah. And they could still have a love for something or someone else. King of Cups. This could be somebody who drinks. This could be a really good husband if they wanted to be in that capacity. And I think that's what keeps you holding on is to keep this other person holding on. There's a lot of love between the two of you. King and Queen of Cups showing up now. 
Um, there's a lot of love, a lot of potential between the two of you. But somebody didn't choose the soulmate path. Someone chose something else. Someone allowed someone else to get in between the relationship. Somebody could have already been married, couple, already in something where they had obligation. And all they could give you was like falsehood. I'm not really your boyfriend, but I'm your boyfriend, but we'll do boyfriend and girlfriend things, but you, eh. you know, they like sold you a dream. They made it sound good. That's the advice for Aquarius. So I hope for love, this helps somebody out there. Advice for Aquarius moving forward. Okay, the Lord, yeah, this is somebody who, they want the power, they want the red pants. Where them red pants at? I want them, that's what they're saying. Whoa, I love them and leave them, the soldier. Willing to do battle, verbal battle over their actions. Just going back and forth with you, trying to manipulate you, gaslight you. A thief, someone who wants to steal more of your time. Theft happens in so many different capacities. If y'all don't run, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Falseness. The door. Now. Yeah. They, I don't know. They just like want to stain something. Nasty white shirt. It's like a white shirt should be white, but it is nasty with them. It um they can't keep anything clean. Uh they can't keep anything positive, uh clear. Um Ooh, they don't tell the truth. There's no clarity. It's nasty, it's dirty. You can't see through it. This person don't want you to see through see clear what their motive is. And they're going to apply a whole bunch of pressure. All right, Aquarius. I wish I had better news for you in terms of maybe a past person trying to resurface. <laughs> they're in complete despair without you, though. He got a gun to his head. Like, so this person is, like, not doing well at all. Um, you fed their big ego, you know? Imagine if somebody was just blowing smoke up. Well, not even blowing smoke, but just like gassing you up and telling you all these positive things about you and ready to help you embark on all of your endeavors and just really there for you. Imagine if somebody was doing that for you, Aquarius, each and every day, day in, day out. You would appreciate it for some of you. Some of you wouldn't. But if... That person was taken away from you. They just decided to stop doing that. You would really feel that void. You would feel it. You would be like, damn, where is my... Who who, who feed my ego now? Where, where are they? I need them back, you know? You can actually manifest from positive reinforcement. You can go pick up any psychological, psychology book. It is... It is, uh, it's viable. It's a, it's a real thing. That's why you, you get positive reinforcement at your job. If you're in a managerial position, you know, you tell people you're doing a great job. Let me tell you how you are really an asset to this, uh, to this team. And, um, so we're so happy that we have you and blah, 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 this and blah, blah, that. And maybe even give a little positive reinforcement by way of a bonus or uh, a raise or so forth. Um, and with children, you tell children that was a that was a good thing that you did. I'm so happy that you helped Johnny up when he fell down. Um, let me tell you how what that really tells me about you is you're a good person. You have a good heart. Positive reinforcement helps people. You know, it really shapes and molds the mind, and then it, it and then it forms into intentions and actions. So Aquarius, when you were doing that with your person. When they will come to you with these little sob stories and this bullshit and you would jump into action 
whether it was just wordplay or you were actually doing stuff for them with them, um, they were able to manifest. They were able to make it real. That's all manifest means. You were able to make it real. You can touch it, taste it, feel it, whatever. They were able to make something real. Now you're gone. And it's as quiet as you can hear a pin drop in their life. Nobody was doing that. Nobody was. This is what we hear these readers talking about. They were manifesting off your energy. Yeah, this is what they were doing. Aquarius, self-awareness. Be aware of the experience that people are having with you, about you, or experiencing your individuality and your personality. Okay? Get your own personal reading. Readings are on sale. $25 for 10 minutes with me. Okay? Um, take advantage. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday. I just had a whole mind for it. I was like, well, let's go. what's next? Okay. I, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, come. Have a good time. Come get your questions answered, possibly for free uh, on Thursday. Uh, I do free questions. Uh, click the Zoom link. Uh, next Thursday, not this Thursday, we're going to have our Halloween party. Come dressed. I'm going to be dressed. Hope you're going to be dressed. I want to shout out to the places where I have high viewership. New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, London, Houston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, Florida, Minneapolis. Okay. I think it's a few more. I can't remember. Um, if you took something from the reading, give back. Get, help us get some new cards. Okay. Uh, Buy me a coffee. The link is below. You could buy me a coffee, but I'm not going to buy a coffee. I'm going to buy some cards or whatever. Or, you know, I'll just link the Amazon wish list below. Buy the channel, the new cards, and they'll be your cards. I'll use your name every time I use them. These cards came from blah, 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 whatever. Uh, but l let it. Let the energy exchange happen. If you feel like you're getting something from being here, give back. Don't be like the people in your life. Or they just take, take, take from you. And now you're coming over here and doing the same thing to me. Hmm, message. Um, what else? I think that's it, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.